Yo, Kipis Guy here, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I kind of jumped the gun here. I was making a video of this process, but I decided I was talking way too much. And so I kind of jumped the gun, but I kept the clips. What we're doing in here is rearranging the whole amp rag and making this a much cleaner install. If you've seen my build before, I had the subwoofer box, of course, here, and then my amp rack went above it from one beam to another. It looked pretty cool, whatever. You could see through the glass, the amp rack, and then you can kind of see it above the headrest of the seats when you're looking through the river mirror. So, okay, whatever. But I decided that I wanted to put the amps underneath the trunk lid where the, ter the spare tire usually goes. And then I wanted to plexiglass this whole thing so that you could still see it. Well, we kind of have a plan B. I'm still gonna plexiglass, but I think I'm just gonna do just the front and then leave the factory, um, I guess, cover on the back so that it has some support for the subwoofer's weight for the box, right? So I'm gonna do that, I think. So I found some plexiglass that is actually the exact width of this here. And you can see that it kind of rounds the corners. The corners stick out on the plexiglass. I'm gonna smooth that out and make that round shape so that it fits in and then put a handle on it so I can raise the plexiglass and make adjustments if I want to. So previously in the video, what I was talking about that I was talking too much about was the Dynamat. I went through, the inspiration for doing this was I had a lot of flex coming from these quarter panels from the ZV6 and the sun from Sundown. I decided that I wanted to um, dynamat the entire trunk because previously it wasn't. So I took all these panels off and I dynamated that, dynamated under here, dynamated over there. And so everything is really nicely secured, dynamated down, very, very dead on the inside. And then now I have this amp rack here, different from what I was using, fits perfectly width wise, has some wood blocks underneath to raise it up because it's not flat against the floor. There is a little bit of space underneath there. Um, it's it's on a riser so that it sits high enough so I can make some adjustments if I want to and you can see it through the glass my battery will be secured down behind it and then this is a lot of excess wire that I had that I don't need anymore I don't want to cut it because maybe I'll change my mind and then I need that length of wire but uh, I'm gonna make that look nice and pretty underneath here too and you're not gonna see anything wire wise for the most part as much as I can secure all of my uh, fuse blocks down somewhere as well. So that's what we're doing right now. So I think I like what's going on here. I'm gonna try to see where I can wrap my wires to separate my speaker wire from power wire and the RCAs. And then I'm gonna cut the glass and see what I can do about um, having half of this be the carpeted mat and then the front half being the plexiglass. The only thing that I'm worried about is this little panel here this little cubby hole used to sit right here, but it no longer fits anymore. So I'm wondering about the support that I'll have because when you bring the subwoofer in and out, I need the glass to be able to handle the support because I'm gonna put, um, what do you call it, carpet sliders on the bottom of my, block, my, my box when I get it back in. So I can just slide it in and out on top of the plexiglass so I don't have to drag it against glass. It'll just slide against the plexiglass instead. So that's what I'm gonna do, get, get carpet sliders and let them slide. I think that would be much, much better against the glass, won't scratch it up, blah, 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 blah. But that is the goal, that is the dream. Let me get these wires together and uh, we'll see what the plan is from there. All right guys, so here's the part with the plexiglass that I knew was gonna be an issue. It is the perfect, I mean, absolute perfect width and depth for this car. It's exactly the same as that board, but those corners we mentioned, here's where they come into play. We need to round these corners off so that I can put it up against the front here. That's what we need to do. Otherwise, it's a perfect fit. And you can see the support was gonna be an issue too because I don't have that cubby hole, that one there, since I don't have it in this spot, there's a lot of give, right? And that's gonna be a problem when it comes to putting the subwoofer in the box because it could just fall in or whatever. The sub is about the same width as from edge to edge, but I need it to be able to be slid towards the back um, without crushing the amplifiers. So the goal is to round these corners here and let it sit where the factory one did, the factory cover did. And then if it doesn't have enough support, I'm just gonna put two wooden blocks about the same height as it needs to be so it just sits up so that it stays you know, high enough and doesn't have any give to it. I can do the same thing in the middle if I need to. So we'll have to see, um, but I don't know. I'm just gonna have to try it and uh, succeed or fail and then we'll know what to do from there. Check this out. So it wasn't snow when it's 70 degrees in the middle of winter right now in Kentucky. It's actually the acrylic that I cut with the router. I put the acrylic on top of the old mat, kind of routed out the corners there. 
and then test fitted it into the car and it does exactly what I want it to do. It is pretty good and for the most part, it's pretty secure. I think right here, I'm gonna push it up. I think right here, I'm gonna drill holes into the factory, um, through the acrylic, to the factory nuts and stuff that went here. The, um, what do you call these things? The clips, so that it stays in place. I'll do the same thing back there and it'll give it some rigidity, won't flex as much. And I still may put a piece here for something to keep uh, it, keep it from sagging in when I put the subwoofer in. So I don't want it to break the acrylic. I think the weight of it is gonna be pretty evenly distributed on the subwoofer box. All the weight's gonna be kind of, you know, all the way across the board. I think if I put the box in straight, I think all the weight will be even that it doesn't bend. It just kind of slides in there, but we're not gonna risk it. We're gonna put holes in here and screw them down. And then I'll probably put a wooden block or something here. Something doesn't look too ugly and keep that secure. But I think this may work. So now I'm just gonna take off this and uh, we should be able to see through it. Now this is really cool. Took off the, the film on it and you literally see right through it. It is so cool. And so the idea is I may still put that back in there maybe and put it on the back half so the sub has something to sit on. But I think the sub just barely comes in front of some of the amps so you can still see what's down here. It'll cover all of the stuff we don't really care about and all you'll see are amps and then my processor here. And I tried my best to cover all the wire. There's a lot of zero gauge wire underneath there. There's four different strands for power and ground. We got three strands for ground coming from the battery or whatever the case is. I mean, there's a lot going on here. We have speaker wire here going from factory amplifier and then from the amplifier to the DM608, then from the DO608 to the tar amp. So there's a lot of wire under here. So I did my best to kind of not only um, seal it up, make sure that it's not really visible, but separate my power and ground from my RCA and speaker wire so we don't have any noise interference. The last thing I need to do is extend my remote wire going to my um, SMD um, volt voltage meter up front. That's what that's for. But other than that, we are pretty much done. I don't have my sub box here because it's actually being repaired. The ZV6 blew it apart, so we have to secure it a little bit better. Um, so we're going to get that done later, but at least gave me time to get in here. And I think this looks really cool. This could be a very good idea and it looks neat and boom, love it. Or it could be a bad idea because the box and it will just scratch it all up. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but with that being said, I think I like the idea. I, I like where it's going. Uh, I think... Um, if I ever need to get in here, I can just push the box against the seat. Like I can just push it backwards and then open the glass and get in here. Do I, do I want it and push it forward? I think that is the coolest thing ever. And then when the trunk is closed, you'll never see any of this at all. So I think I like the idea as long as it, as long as it comes out the way I think it will. All right. I spent all day on this thing and I think I found a, a stopping point where I think we're pretty much done. This little wire here that's running down here. I don't have my, like I said, I don't have my box it so we're just playing around with my little ct sounds eight inch in the in the back seat there and just to have some bass in the car really impressive sub if you haven't seen the video on that um but this is done for all i know i went ahead and cut a small piece of wood here this is a support beam so that when i do get the sub inside i measured it from the bottom or the top of the amp rack to the bottom of the mat here and I got about five inches, five and a half inches. So I just sit it on the wood. And so when I slide in the box, this will help support some of that weight in the middle. So we don't end up, you know, cracking the glass or whatever. Um, this is carpet material and I bought carpet sliders and you can see it slides very easy and does not scratch the glass. So that's going to be a really nice touch when I put the carpet sliders on the bottom of the box. It should really just slide down. And like I said, a lot of that weight is distributed evenly on the box i don't think there's going to be too much pressure in the middle so nonetheless i'll have this little piece to support it but i think i should be able to slide this thing in and it not um, put too much weight in the glass it should be even to where um, there's some support i measured the box depth it's 22 inches so from the back of the seat right in front of the amp right here it's 22 inches, <laughs> so it works out perfectly. So everything we don't want to see will be gone by the box. Everything we do want to see will still be shown because the box doesn't come as deep. So I'm super excited for that. So everything seems to work out really, really good. Uh, I went ahead, the car is on, so I made sure I have power to everything. Tar amps, amp is on too. 
that's good. Uh, I went ahead and turned the car off and on, make sure that my remote wires are good, so everything's turning off. The things that I have coming to the front of the car, I have my SMD voltmeter here. That's doing well for me. That's showing me what I need to do. Goes off when it's supposed to. And then Tar Amps has a clip and power and protect indicator there. And then my CT Sounds bass knob that I used to use out of my voltmeter. This is far more accurate. Not necessarily more accurate, but quicker in showing me what my voltage is doing. So I dis I disengaged this one, um, but I do have it here as far as showing me what's going on, protect clip, clipping and all that good stuff. So we are set and good to go, just waiting for the box to be done. And then we'll do some demos in here. So guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this idea. If all else fails, I'll just put the other mat back in here and we'll call it a day. Um, but this should be a permanent uh, solution for me as far as a stealthy, clean audio system. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of my little build and tell me some things that you may suggest. Oh, I did want to mention you may have saw it these red tabs here on each of the corners that's going to be just to secure um, the glass in place i don't know if the glass will slide or not because there is a little room to do that so when the box is in i don't want anything to slide so i went ahead and put some tape down they're not i didn't take the backing off of it yet because i'm not ready to yet stick it down but in preparation we're going to do that I'm still gonna set my gains in, on everything soon when I get my sub back in here, and then I'll seal it all and forget about it. So let me know what you guys think about that build down below in the comment section. Leave me your build as well, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.